In this video, I'm going to take a college student on a journey to become a business analyst. I'm going to also cover what it takes to become a business analyst and what are the, some of the skills you need to be a really good one. Stick around to the end to find out why I left my programming career to take on a business analyst role. Use the timestamps below to jump around to a specific area if you're interested in. What is up friends? My name is Hamza. Thank you for tuning in. Today I have a guest with me, Afreen. Afreen, why don't you introduce yourself? Well, hi everybody. I'm Afreen. Um, I'm a senior at The Ohio State University. All right. Studying computer science. Um, going into my last semester and hopefully graduating this spring. All right. Very good. Very good. I hear that's a great school. It's great. Go Bucks. <laughs> And what you said you're studying computer computer and information computer science is a, okay. a full title yes gotcha gotcha and that's a four-year program it is yep okay um and what kind of classes have you been taking so we take a lot of engineering classes so we take a lot of java c um we do a little bit of python you know you can take specializations and okay then i did the individualized specialization so i can kind of do whatever I want, kind of take classes from here. And then we take, you know, project classes where we create projects in um, different languages. My last class, we created a whole website to review your peers on team projects. And that was, that was my most recent project that I okay. worked on with the team. You made anything cool with Python? Not so much with my classes, but on my own time, yes. I okay. made a few programs in Python. And is, some, is programming something you want to go down uh, for your career? So while I enjoy programming um, on the side for fun, it's not something I would love to do for a career. Okay. It's just a little bit too high pressure. What are you planning on doing when you graduate? So that's why I'm here. Okay. Because they don't really help you in school. They just say take these classes and then you're on your own. So I don't really know what, what what's out there. Well, I'm glad you're a long time subscriber of the channel because that's what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. so. Uh, so you've got some technical background. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any specific industries you're looking at or you're kind of open to? I'm, I'm pretty open. Um, I'm not a great code coder. I'm not, I don't enjoy it that much. Mm -hmm. um, so something away from that would be a bit better for me, I think. Okay. But I'm pretty open. And you've looked at one of my videos on fun functional consultants? Yes. Okay. And is there any position? So what I saw that I was drawn to was the business analyst job, but I'm not fully sure what that is. So okay. if you could expand on that, yeah. that would be great. Okay. So a business analyst is someone who works with the technology department, and then they also work with the business team to figure out what, um, what problems the business team has and what they're trying to solve using technology. Mm -hmm. So they'll take requirements from the uh, the business. So in case, let's say, uh, someone wants to build a new website or a new database in their organization. So a business analyst will work with them to understand what they need built and then translate that into what technology needs to be uh, built out. So you're kind of like the middleman between the business and the developers. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so how, would, how would you go about like, like what should I focus on? to if I want to become a business analyst, what do I need to focus on in my studies? Some of the strengths that you need as a business analyst is you need to be able to understand the technology, what modern technology is out there. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't need to be super uh, specialized in anything. You need to understand how things work. And then you need to understand what your business, how your business functions, what their goals are, what their needs are. So you need to be able to understand the business side of things. So technology, business and then you also need to be really good at communication and it's not just verbal communication or um, written communication through email but a lot of it what you're doing is you're taking that uh, requirements from the business and then translating that into technology specific stuff so they're called it business requirements and there's uh, functional requirements so functional requirements will be something like how does this system function? What should it do? So if I have a button on a website and I have a text box or drop downs, how do I build that, that uh, user interface out? And how does it need to function in the back end? Uh, so those all would be types of requirements that you're gathering. Uh, so communication mm -hmm. um, and in terms of documents that can be used by the 
uh, technical team to de design and develop this system. Okay. Hey friends, if you're getting value out of this video so far, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe. Okay, so what does a business analyst do exactly? Let's okay. run through a scenario. So pick a business that you like or a company that you like. I like Target. Okay. I go there a lot. Okay, so Target is what kind of a store? Just for our viewers who... Oh, might... it's a department store with many different departments. Okay. Clothes, makeup, shoes. All right, okay. all right, cool. So what do you what do you like to shop for? So I mostly go to the makeup department. Okay. Mm -hmm. So makeup department um, at a department store. So let's say if you, when you graduate, mm -hmm. uh, you start working for Target. Target makeup department comes to you and says, hey, right now we have, we're seeing a lot of sales in person, but we're not getting a lot of sales online mm -hmm. for it. So maybe their website is broken or it doesn't work or it's maybe really hard to navigate. So you you would represent the business team and then you would uh, work with the technical team, like the developers. And in that technical team, you're gonna have developers, you're gonna have database administrators, networking guys, right? Like, and gals, uh, mm -hmm. you're gonna have everyone, the whole team project managers to work with and you would represent the business and on you would make decisions on behalf of the business and um, if but the technical department like someone like me I don't mm -hmm. like my makeup right so if I was to make a database about uh, makeup for uh, for target I wouldn't really know where to even start mm -hmm. so then I would work with you uh, and ask you questions on okay how do you categorize makeup maybe we want to have certain database tables for the Eye makeup, face makeup. Oh yeah, okay. Yes. So so there's all these this different kinds of things. So right. we categorize it and well how does a how does a user wanna see it? So how would you wanna see makeup? By eye makeup, foundation, powder, things like that. And then be able to pick more than one thing or should a user be suggested, hey, you put pick this kind of shade should i have like are there like shades related to each other yeah there can be like if you pick this shade and foundation maybe pick this shade and powder okay that complement each other okay so see there you right. go like um like someone a technical person like me who doesn't know anything about this industry wouldn't know that so as a business analyst you would be helping me through all this design then we work through the entire system development life cycle i ask you questions after i develop it you're you now represent as the user so now you're going to be testing user acceptance testing so you would sign off on things like hey yes i asked you to design things like this and then you would you approve that design sort of there's also mock-ups maybe i have no idea what you're saying what how you what uh this website needs to look like so you would uh, as a business analyst you'd be creating mock-ups uh, or wireframes uh, these are all deliverables that a business analyst often has to create to get the point across. Because remember, it's all communication. Right. Um, and then you could also be making flow chart diagrams. Tell me what's a process. How should a customer even go to buy this makeup? So you would, instead of telling me step one, do this, step two, you could make me a flow chart. And then that just is a picture format that tells the developers how the website functions, what, what are the different steps. That way there's uh, logic that needs to be applied, can be applied in the system. So these are just some other roles of a business analyst. Okay. Sounds interesting. Yeah. <laughs> you still think you're going to go for it? I mean, it sounds, that sounds even more interesting to me now. So definitely, yeah. Okay, cool. So what made you want to become a business analyst? I've had many roles over throughout my career, but business analyst is just one of the roles I've done at a certain point. And business analyst is one of those fun roles that you don't have to be in a stressful technical environment where you're constantly having to learn new coding, things like that. Uh, but you actually also because of my technical background and I enjoy the business aspect of it, I wanted to go away from programming and then now because now I understood all the technical jargon as well as I spoke, I was able to work with business to close those, those gaps in. It's actually really hard to find a really good business analyst a lot of times because too many people either are heavily focused on the business side or they're too heavily focused on the technical side. Mm -hmm. So someone who can really understand both things and even if they need to write some code at times. So, you know, that's really a high in demand thing. Uh, so I thought it was a good combination. If you want to learn more about 
IT jobs for non-technical folks, um, I'm gonna go ahead and link that video up here on the, and then also put it in the description below. So make sure you check that out to also get an idea of the different roles that are out there besides business analysts. Let me know in the comment section below what else you want me to make a video on. There you have it friends. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Check out some of my other videos on the channel and hey, keep on being awesome.